We're back in the real board loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Strive Big Bully. Designed and shaped by a big bully himself, John Henderson. Why is there such a board as the Big Bully? Uh, and who's this board for? Uh, there's a, a huge demand for a bigger short board for people coming off of long boards, especially larger surfers. And they walk into a board loft full of potato chips and they're like, I, I can't surf any of these things. And if they're coming off of like a 10 foot long board or a 9.6 or a 10.6, and they're used to just really pushing all of their 200 pounds onto a board, they get on a, uh, a short board and they basically sink it to the bottom of the ocean. So the Big Bully uh, is a great quote unquote short board for somebody coming off of those bigger boards that wants more performance. Uh, you don't have to go all the way from like 10 foot to six foot. There's a lot of different stopping points in between, and this, this board is a great example of that. Looking at this board, um, you can definitely look into the uh, into John's roots in Santa Cruz, California. Um, Stretch, Bill Rydell of Stretch Surfboards from uh, Santa Cruz makes a board very similar to this called the Stretch Pug, which is incredibly popular around the world. Uh, and this board has a lot of those design attributes. You can see John feeding off of Stretch uh, in Santa Cruz and just being like, hey, like, what's working and, and what's out there that's really doing well and the pug has been a great board for that market and the big bully uh has a lot of those same design uh characteristics from the bullet nose to the reinforced uh grab rails along the uh edge of the board these things are great because they reinforce the board and prevent it from breaking uh or buckling along the rail also gives you a great place to put your thumbs when you're duck diving if you look like your thumb's going to fit right in there when you're pushing the board underneath the water and it's going to prevent your thumb from getting blown off the side if the if the white water or the turbulence underneath underneath where if you didn't have this your finger would just go right out and you would lose the board duck diving this board uh paddle length is really important um the width of the board it's got a good width on it it's a little bit over 22 inches wide so it, it's not too gunny for the length so it's not going to feel like a like a needle like a speed needle and it, uh, another thing that's important for bigger surfers is to have a nice big tail. So you, you see it's got a half moon tail on it and the board and then a five fin setup out the back. So this board could be ridden either quad or tri uh, and it should be ridden with a bigger set of fins unless you're a lighter surfer and using this as one of your first boards. If you're a bigger guy, you definitely want big fins to go with your big board. So you definitely want to be looking at a large template uh, from the FCS lineup in this board. Big Bully does have a gloss and polish on it. Uh, keep it nice and clean, easy to clean, uh, and also watertight for the length of the board, uh, length of the life of the board. This board is going to be a great board, like we said, to transition off of a long board. Um, not necessarily forever, but just on some of the better wave days. Still gives you plenty of length and paddling power to, so you're, you don't suffer in wave count, but you're going to be able to throw this thing around significantly easier than a 9 or 10 foot long board. Still catch the same number of waves. And actually still be able to serve it in pretty small waves, but it's going to be a whole lot easier to handle in big waves. And those bigger surfers are going to be able to still duck dive this board in better waves as well. So it'll make it possible for them to get out if there's no channel. Uh, it is the Big Bully from Strive Surfboards, Santa Cruz, California.